Today we're going to be demonstrating passing a knot, lowering and hauling using the clutch and the Aztec kit. So there's a lot of different ways that you can uh, pass a knot, but I find this one of the most simple um, and versatile ways of passing a knot. So first we'll demonstrate passing a knot while lowering. Okay, so we get under tension, we're lowering our load. We don't have a true live load, so it's gonna be a little tricky to demonstrate this smoothly. So we're lowering our load. We wanna get our knot to about a foot away from our clutch. Lock our clutch off. Okay, now we can take our Aztec. We don't want it fully extended. We want it extended enough that we can take the load off our main line, and then we can continue to lower out on the Aztec. So now take a, a Prusik, or we can do a rope grab, get that on our line, Press our Prusik up nice and neat. Put our Aztec into that. Now we can haul on the Aztec so that we know for sure the knot can pass through. Okay, so now we can lock our Prusik off and we can dog off our Aztec. Slip half hitch and another half hitch. Now that's dogged off. Okay, now we can take our clutch. The load is transferred to the Aztec. We can take that off, unlock that, pull our rope through, pass our knot. Reload it, okay, lock it off. Now we can take the Aztec. Now normally, if this was under a live load, I would take and make a muncher hitch, clip it in to my carabiner, and then I would defeat the Prusik and use the friction on the Munter hitch to lower him out. So that's what I would do if it was under live load. Since we're under only one single person, we're going to just lower it out until we get the load transferred back on to our main line. Okay, got our lower load transferred back onto our main line. So we can also take this just for safety we can do an overhand around itself while we're working. Okay, now that's fully locked off. So now we've taken our Aztec, we've lowered it out as much as we need to. We've transferred the weight back onto the main line. We take our Prusik off. We can store our Aztec. Now, we can unlock our overhand. And we can continue to lower. Okay, go ahead and pull that. Now we're lowering. And that's how you pass a knot while lowering. Next, we'll demonstrate how to pass a knot while hauling. Okay, so we're gonna build a three to one mechanical advantage. For our last haul to passing the knot, we want to get our Prusik right up against our knot. And we want to haul our system all the way in until our pulleys are basically touching each other. That's called chonka block. Okay, so come back here. Let's loosen that up so there's less friction. We're gonna haul all the way in. So we have chocolate block, basically they're touching. We can lock that off, okay? And now we can take our Aztec kit and extend it out and we can haul this in so we can pass the knot through this whole entire system. So we take our Aztec kit. Bend it out as much as we possibly can. So we basically have the rest of the rope in our bag. Take our new Prusik. So our Aztec can extend out to 12 feet, fully extended. 
that'll be plenty for us to haul that bot past our system. So now we can haul in on our Aztec. Might as well haul it all the way in to get as much of that knot through our system as possible. Okay, so now we can lock that off by doing a slip half hitch and another half hitch, and now our Aztec is safety off. We can take our main line and we can open up the clutch and pass our knot through the clutch. Get that as tight as possible. And now, to guarantee that or not is through the system, we can extend the Aztec out one more time. Okay, so we can take this, get it all off, store it for a second. All right, this is locked off. We extend our Aztec out one more time, just to guarantee that we have enough to go through our system. time on the Aztec. Lock it off. Now we're going to do our overhand. Take all the slack out of the system. Now we can build a new three to one. So we'll lock this off real quick. Take this. So it's no longer under tension. Take that off. This can be reused for our new freedom one. So now we can extend that out. And we can extend it out to just right where the knot is. Put our knot right behind our pulley. Don't need that. Extend that out so that's nice and tight. And then now we can continue on with our hauling system with the knot passed through. And then we can reset and carry on with our hauling system. So we've demonstrated how to pass a knot while lowering through the clutch using an Aztec, and we've demonstrated how to pass a knot while hauling through the system using an Aztec. And that's how you do it.